Since I've recorded this game and I do apologize, um, sorry if I sound kind of stuffy and stuff. I, I, I believe my allergies have kicked in from all the changing weather, pollen and shit. I, I don't even like it. Like I feel like crap right now. But I'm going to record this because I love you guys, and I really want to finish this game so I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, um, Graves, he's right there, very much human, standing over the rusty, decrepit bike. He's so lost in thought, I wonder if he even notices I'm here. Graves, what's up? Oh, oh, Avery, uh, just assessing the litter around the cafe. Yeah, it looks like someone's been using this walkway as a trash dump. So they have. Do you think it's one of those shop owners around here? I know the culprit. The true matter is to properly deal with its disposal. That's not our job. If you know who it is, make them do it. Regretfully, I do not believe we can stop him. He looks ser so serious. Why so serious? Um, I mean, I, I can't blame him. This is an eyesore and it's probably hurting business. What a jerk. Who is it? Nobody you know. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess if he's not going to stop, we should just start cleaning it up. I'll help carry some of it. I roll up my hoodie sleeves and reach out to grab the rusty bike and... Ooh? Uh, Graves' hand. His fingers coiled tightly around my wrist so quickly I didn't even see him move. Don't touch it. His eyes hold an intense, stern glow as his stare bores into me. For just a moment, I feel that chill claw up my spine again. Oh, okay. Sorry. Forgive me. It's too dangerous to do this without the correct procedure. You haven't learned enough yet. This is a lot more complicated than just picking up trash, huh? Please, don't worry about it. I can't help wondering if this is related to some other weird things I've seen around here, you know? I'd rather you just focus on the cafe and leave this to me. Please, don't worry about it. You're so opaque. I seriously don't get you at all. I've been hearing that since before I could speak. I'm used to it by now. I wish you'd just straight up tell me what's going on. Consider it a management problem. How is the job treating you? Do you enjoy it here, yes? Well, maybe if I had a boss that told the truth, it'd be easier. No need to be con contentious. I'm doing the best I can. I'm sorry, f I'm truly sorry f I truly am sorry. Oh my god, words. I truly am sorry for the mess, Avery. I'm not the o um, not the one you should be apologizing to. Talk to the rest of the staff about that. Best case scenario, this will be dealt with soon and we can all forget about it. And if the best case doesn't happen, then we'll have a new bridge to cross. Well, you'd best head in. You wouldn't want to be late after all. You gonna write me up or something if I am? I don't think I'd need to after Finley got through with you for making her open by herself. Shoot, you're right. Well, later. Till then. There isn't much time until we open, so I hurry off to the cafe. Ugh. Avery, there you are. I was starting to get worried. Sorry, I got sidetracked on the way here. I ran into Graves. I guess talking to the boss counts as work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Graves uh, couldn't keep hold of a topic if it was stable to his hand. We hurriedly get to work finishing pre-open setup. Though it doesn't really matter because it's a slow morning, the first person to come through the door isn't even a customer. It's Graves. Fancy meeting you here. You want some coffee, the usual? Hmm. No, uh, not right now. Thank you. Please pay me no mind. I'll be in and out today. Maintenance work. Finally! The sink in the kitchen has been backing up something fierce lately. Not that kind of maintenance, my friend. Security improvements. He blows through the building and disappears through the back door as quickly as he arrived. Reese watches him go and takes a few wavering steps toward the door before deciding against it. I guess even Reese can't outboss the boss. Security improvements, huh? What the heck is that supposed to mean? That was weird. Well, back to work, huh? Yeah. It's hard to focus on work when I can see Graves pacing back and forth in front of the big glass storefront. Luckily, it's a, snow it's a slow day, not a snow day. <laughs> so I could excuse myself every so often to peek in on him. I think I just saw him bury some 
bury something under a loose pile. Tile, not pile. I can't read today. I I'm sorry. I'm losing it today. <laughs> at one point, I dip my head out to see what he's doing, and he's just standing there, staring at the wall, tracing a picture on it with his finger. I'm sure he's just doing it to look busy, but then I catch a glimpse of something, like light reflecting off of a piece of metal on the wall itself. It flashes for a moment, and then it's gone. Maybe I'm seeing things. Maybe he's doing something to the building. Something arcane, I guess? But even if he is, why? Why is he suddenly so con concerned with security? Is he setting, like, a magic anti-theft alarm or something? Or is it something more sinister? I can't help but think the uh, uh blah, blah 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 i can't help but think of his weird behavior this morning and his focus on the rust piles something must be coming something as serious as the cat curse if he's gonna leave us in the dark i've gotta do something it's time it's time i finally talk to someone about magic the book the curse everything oh boy wonder who we're talking to i love that little loading screen just percentage and then just boom there it is not a song reference, sorry. <laughs> Just a coincidence. I hope she doesn't kick me out of the kitchen first. Aha. Uh -huh. I already forgot her name because I haven't played in a while and it makes me feel really bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm intruding whenever I'm here. Oh, it's Mason, sorry. I haven't played this game in a while and I felt kind of bad for forgetting. I'm never sure if it's Mason's aura or if it's because cooking is the most mysterious magic of all. Maybe if she doesn't believe me, what if she thinks I'm stupid? I don't think that's going to happen. I'm starting to figure out how to read her. I don't think she's that type of person. I hope. I don't know. It's hard to figure out without feedback, you know? She's warmed up to me, at least. I can tell that much. I don't know if she's taking pity on me because I barely, c I can barely feed myself, or if... Well, never mind. No use speculating. Look at me, standing here and gawking. I better not slack off. I try to make myself look busy. I, uh, what do I do? Oh, she's not even paying attention. You know, it's funny. Before I met Mason, I didn't even, I didn't know Cookie could be so artistic. Watching her prepare meals is like a dance. Today's special is French toast with little cat shapes seared into the bread. I didn't know that was a thing you could do, but here she is, making this adorable food as if she's been doing it since birth. Makes me want to learn to cook. Could I eat do? that like ever she's a natural I don't think I could ever learn like that catching flies uh, mouth open staring gonna catch flies oh you're right <laughs> I guess she was paying attention do you come in here for something or should I charge admission for the show oh I uh, oh, sorry if I'm bugging you I can go back if this is a bad time, I mean. Didn't say it. Didn't say I didn't like it. Don't mind the company now and then. She glances up and flashes me a. Is that? It is a smile. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> um. Now what? Is this flirting? Oh, <laughs> thanks. I mean, hold on. Let me try that again. Smooth moves, Gray. Way to get thrown off by a by a mild maybe flirt. So, I want to ask you something. And talk about the cat curse. Talk while I work. Can't burn the toast. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, the cat curse and all? I'd hope so. <laughs> right. So, um, I think I figured out how to break it. Hmm. I figured that at least warrant a look, but she didn't even glance up. Is she excited or what? I mean it like... I never turned into a cat, right? I think I reversed it before I could take hold. Before it could take hold. I could probably do the same for you. Nah. What? That's not what I expected. I didn't think she'd burst into... I didn't think she'd burst into tears, dance around the kitchen or something. But, nah? Just... Nah? Uh-huh. If you don't believe me, I can... I believe you. Just don't need it. Bet the others will be thrilled. You what? Don't need it? What do you mean? I'm fine with being a cat. Doesn't cause me problems. It's cool you figured it out. Definitely not what I expected. I. What do you say to that? I feel stupid. Like, even more than usual. I'm... 
Okay. Okay, this is fine. Get your head in the game, Gray. We can do this. I, um, maybe I'm misunderstanding. You want to be a cat forever? You'll be stuck here for the rest of your life. Eh, first real job I've had. Not gonna throw that out. Hey, mine too. But I don't know, doesn't it bother you that you can't go anywhere or do anything? I go places. Where? Home? There's lots of stuff you can do besides work and sleep. You should be able to go shopping. Don't like shopping. See movies. Graves says DVDs. Go on dates. Ooh, that silence. She slaps another piece of toast onto the griddle, but I see that tick. Her mouth is twitching. That's a good sign, I think. She pointedly flips the toast, letting the sizzle drown me out for a second. God, it smells good in here, like vanilla and cinnamon. Does she go home smelling like that? Uh, would she smell like that if she wasn't a cat when she goes home, or... Okay, yeah, moving on. Won't you at least try with me? I got this magic manual at my place, and we could look up how to break the curse to try it out. If you want, of course. Thought you said I couldn't date as a cat. Ah, crap. Oh, I mean, not as a date. I mean, um, relax, a joke. Won't hurt to take a look. Really? But, got some stuff to take care of. Give me your address, I'll come after. Okay, sure. Um, I can text it to you. Can't check my phone as a cat. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Let me find a paper and a pen. I'll be here all day. You're, all, you're right. I won't rush then. I'll walk. <laughs> hmm. Okay then. Okay then. That was fucking awkward as shit. I run away before I can make even more of an idiot out of myself. Oh my god. Could I have been more awkward? Why do I turn into a blabbering idiot? every time I see her. I thought I had a I had game. The only game I got is Tiddlywinks. I've never heard of that game. I don't even know if it's real or not. Could be. I, I don't fucking know. I feel like I'm about to burst into shame flames. In the news today, trash heap of a 19 year old kid opened her dumb mouth and then spontaneously combusted from awkwardness. I gotta get it together before anyone else sees me. Avery? Ah, oh, hell. No way. It's not Finley, but Reese is almost as bad. Uh, sorry about the sniffling. It's kind of a habit. Um, so I do apologize. I, I'm trying not to do that, but then I do it, and then I realize it, and I'm just like, damn it! <laughs> so I'm really sorry about the sniffling. Um, I don't remember where I stopped. Shit. Uh, ah, hell! No way it's not Finley. But Reese is almost as bad. I busy myself with organizing the cat toys. The red one is longer than the yellow one, but this other red one is shorter. If I arrange them by size, it'll be an ugly rainbow, but if I do it by size and color, it'll... Avery, are you ignoring me? What? Of course not! What's up? I wanted to see if you'd be willing to close today. But if you're going to pick up and put down the same toy over and over, I'll find someone more capable. No, it's fine. I was just testing its weight, you know? Getting a feel for how the cats like it. Right. It passes the test. Good to go. Unless, of course, you have plans. Of course not. Look at that smug mug. He knows full well what he's doing. Why is everybody here so nosy? I resent that. I have plenty of plans, like... All the time. I am. I have a very healthy nightlife. Of course you do, but not often with other people, I imagine. Especially not co-workers. I knew it! He does know. Is he good at reading people, or is my poker face that bad? Gross, I'll have to call Landry for cleanup if you don't pick that jaw up. Though, that's half the cleanup we'd have to do if things get messy with you and Mason. What? I don't know what you mean. Look, just a friendly word of warning. From a splendid, a splendid assistant manager to his loyal employee. I've he I heard you talking in the kitchen and be careful with her. And with yourself. What do you mean? She keeps such a distance that I don't know what happens if you two get close. That's all. It's just a hunch. Might be nothing. But I listen to hunches. You're only worried about our only chef quitting. That too, but I don't know. It's just a feeling, alright? 
I try to help and get put on the stand. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Stay kawaii and have fun out there.